Hi there, my name is Sarabha Biankar and I'm the Chief Product Officer here at MicroStrategy. Today I'd like to give you a quick overview of our portfolio and our vision for intelligence everywhere. Our goal at MicroStrategy is to bring intelligence to everyone and everywhere in your organization. And that really starts with unlocking all the different data that you have and making it accessible to all the different people you have and all the different employees across your organization and actually even beyond your organization to your suppliers or your customers and, and so forth. And so the MicroStrategy platform really just sits and connects the dots between all the different data sources that you have. And those can be you know, cloud sources or traditional relational sources or even files and Hadoop and those kinds of things. And it connects the dots between that and all of your different users. And the platform itself is primarily made up of three layers. The first layer is all about modern experiences for those end users that you have. And what we've realized is that across large enterprises or even small departments, you actually have very different kinds of users. You have power users and analysts that want to do data exploration and self-service, but more and more you have uh, just regular everyday people, right? The other 80% of your employees are really just going about their daily lives. They don't really think about coming to the analytics. And so our, our products are really designed to suit the needs of both the power user and the analyst, but even more so, the everyday person that is just using the everyday apps that they use, and they need analytics injected into those apps or put on their mobile device or come to them in their email to do their jobs uh, better. And so let's get started with our uh, modern experiences. The first product and the newest product in our product line is hyperintelligence. And the unique thing about hyperintelligence is it's not a destination, right? Most other analytic products force you to go to them. They force you to go to their dashboard or to their report or to their thing. Whereas hyperintelligence, it, we, we recognize that the vast majority of users out there are just doing their jobs and they're in the applications that they use. And many of them face this one primary challenge, which is they're jumping between different applications just to get the information that they need. And so what hyperintelligence does is it automatically injects intelligence via a card directly into those applications. So for example, if you're using Salesforce or Workday or SAP or an Oracle ERP system, or even you're just browsing the internet, uh, hyperintelligence actually looks for keywords as you use those applications. Uh, and when it sees something that it knows, for example, a customer or an employee, it highlights that. And then the user just hovers over it and they can get information coming from pretty much wherever you want it to come from. And that really helps them because instead of having to jump to, you know, five different applications uh, or just guess, uh, that information gets automatically injected into the applications that they already use. The second thing that's part of our portfolio is our mobile offering. And at MicroStrategy, our mobile offering is actually very different than uh, what a lot of others do. Um, it's not just about putting a dashboard on a mobile device, but one of the things that we realize is that a mobile field worker, they really want to do their job end to end. And so they need to have the analytics, which is good, but they also need to be able to do things like QR code scan, barcode scanning, signature capture, surveying, right? If you're a realtor or something like this, and you're out on the streets uh, or at a house, or if you're a uh, insurance agent and you're visiting a uh, perhaps a car accident or something like this, you want to be able to actually enter information and then have the analytics come back as well. So the unique thing about our mobile offering is it provides not just the analytics, the beautiful dashboards, which we of course do, but it also provides transactional workflows as well. And even beyond that, we provide offline capabilities. So uh, oftentimes you might be in a spotty network connection or something like this, and our mobile offering uh, provides offline support and really has been optimized for those on the ground, out in the field type workflows, which are unique uh, and different than just a sort of a mobile dashboard. And finally, for again, all those people out there that won't typically come to analytics, we have our classic reporting solution as well. And this is something that often in the industry, some, you know, gets, gets forgotten nowadays because everybody wants to talk about visualizations and NLQ and AI and all these things. But the bread and butter at the foundation of information delivery is actually reporting. Uh, and this is the ability to create, you know, high, highly formatted pixel perfect reports with things like transactions and write back, uh, and then distribute those at scale to the thousands of people across your company. And to do that by email or, you know, whatever other mechanisms you want to do to actually push that data out. And finally, for the more power users out there, the people that actually do want to come to analytics and want to, you know, build a dashboard or build what we call dossiers, we have our dossier product. 
And that's a self-service product that allows you to quickly just drag and drop data. You can actually blend data in and prepare data. And the main point of it is to give analysts and power users the ability to explore data and look around and also independently build the content that they want. And it's a really nice complement to some of the more formal BI components that allows them to have that flexibility and freedom that they always desire. The second major layer in our platform is our open architecture. And this is just the, I would say, the humble realization that uh, not everything re you know, revolves around us. And we know that most of our customers uh, actually want to integrate MicroStrategy into their ecosystem, right? They want to connect to you know, other data sources. They want to connect to other applications. And many of your users actually already use other analytics tools. They might be using Excel or Power BI. They might be data scientists using uh, Jupyter Notebook or RStudio. And so what we've done is we've built what we call the semantic graph, which allows you to basically connect to all of your different data sources and then model that data in a very consistent way so that all of your end users, whether they're using the MicroStrategy tools, right? or they're using Excel or Power BI or data science tools, have a very simple way to just drag and drop elements uh, from the semantic graph to uh, leverage the data that's already in MicroStrategy. And the semantic graph itself contains some very you know, basic concept. It contains things like attributes and metrics. These are the, the definitions of your customers and your employees and your revenue and your aggregations and these kinds of things. It has filters and it has prompts. So you can really define how your business works and the common definitions of objects in your business and then reuse that both in MicroStrategy and elsewhere as well. So on top of that, we've built out of the box connectors for Excel. I'm sure many of you or all of you use Excel all the time. And so if you want trusted data in Excel, you can actually connect to MicroStrategy through Excel itself, apply security and then drag and drop or just select the elements from our semantic graph that you then want to bring into Excel. We also have connectors for Power BI, uh, Tableau and Click as well. And then for the data scientists out there, uh, what we see often is that data scientists sort of live in their own, um, almost like a silo, aside from the business intelligence and analytics systems. And they're off doing their thing. And they're typically doing things like connecting to data, building models, and then trying to find ways to, to operationalize their output and get it out to other people in their company. Well, the nice thing about the MicroStrategy platform is it integrates with the tools that they already know and love. And so what they can do is they can actually use our connectors to our studio and uh, Jupyter Notebook, or even our APIs directly through Python and R, they can connect to MicroStrategy, get the trusted data that's there, then build their models and extend that. Perhaps they're doing a forecast or something. And then once they've done that, they can actually push that back to MicroStrategy and it appears just as an object. For example, it might be a forecast or it might be a cluster or something like this. And once they've done that, those objects can be reused by everybody else. It can be reused by a Tableau user. It can be reused by somebody building a hyperintelligence card. It can be reused in our mobile offering or in our dossiers as well. So by doing that and bringing it back to the semantic graph, they're able to scale much further than uh, they were ever able to scale before in terms of serving the, their employees with the data science output that they've, they've created. On top of that, we also have open REST APIs and SDKs. This is all about allowing third-party developers or OEMs or customers, of course, to use our API so they can push data into MicroStrategy, they can get data out of MicroStrategy. We even have JavaScript APIs so if you want to embed uh, for example, a visualization or a dossier or even a hyperintelligence card in the future into a web page. You can do that as well. Finally, we believe in freedom of choice when it comes to platforms. And so the MicroStrategy platform runs on premise on Windows and Linux, but also runs up in the cloud on AWS and on Azure as well. And you're also able to deploy it on the Google Cloud platform too. And we give you full portability between those things. So today you might have a strategy that says, you know, we're gonna be on AWS and that's great. And you can run the MicroStrategy platform there and it's actually optimized for the, for the AWS services there as well. In the future, you might wanna to move to Azure. And if you did that, that's great. We actually have optimized our platform for Azure as well. And so the point really here is that you're not stuck to any particular stack. And that's actually quite different than some of our competitors because some of our competitors, you know, they are owned by those stacks. They're owned by Salesforce or they're owned by Microsoft. And so they're optimizing specific for those. And what we believe is that our customers need to have that flexibility to be able to move between multiple platforms. And that just gives you, you know, pricing benefits and things like this as well. And finally, at the foundation of our platform is our enterprise grade scalability and security. That has a few key things in it. The first is, of course, data connectivity. We have connectivity to about 
200 plus different sources out there, everything from Oracle and Teradata to Snowflake and Google BigQuery and Redshift and so forth. We have an optimized connectivity to those. So every time we see a database, we don't just connect to it and leave it. We actually look at some of the specific functions that they have and some of the optimizations that we can do to make sure the performance is really great. We have things like multi-pass uh, SQL that allows you to do more sophisticated queries against relational databases. So we've spent 30 years optimizing connectivity. Uh, and as the world evolves, you know, more applications show up we continue to add and expand our data connectivity and continue to optimize for the, the, the data sources that you use all the time. The second important thing, of course, is security, right? Just connecting to data is, is the first step, but you need to then secure that data and make sure the right people have access to the right content. And so we have multiple levels of security. We can uh, secure at the, the database level. You can secure at the role level. Uh, we also have ACLs and roles and privileges, which allow you to specify who can see what, who can access what, and even what features they have access to as well. So you have lots of granular control if you want it uh, over exactly who can access what in the system. Um, and of course, the MicroStrategy platform, one of the things that we've been known for for a long time is our scalability. We are built from the ground up to be enterprise grade. And so uh, one of the things that we've really focused on is how do, we, how do we deliver really simple user experiences that I talked about before, but we need to do that at scale because if you really want to enable intelligence everywhere, that means for all people. And it means a lot of people are gonna be running a lot of queries uh, on the system. And so the MicroStrategy platform is built fundamentally for that. Uh, we have elasticity and a number of different things that we've done in terms of settings and optimizations to allow you to scale the platform broadly across your organization. And the final thing I want to touch upon is monitoring. A lot of the times, you know, these BI systems, as they age, there's a lot of content that isn't important. Sometimes you have low performing queries or low performance uh, dashboards. And so it's really important for the people who build those things to know what's happening in the system, to be able to audit who has access to what. And so our monitoring capabilities with a, with a new feature that we added a couple of years ago called Platform Analytics basically allows you to have out of the box dashboards and dossiers so you can see exactly what's happening in your BI system. You can see which objects are running in a highly performant way, which things are bottlenecks. You can see content, for example, that people aren't accessing anymore. So you could potentially archive that. And so we give you lots of rich analytics into the system so that you can uh, build your BI strategy and really build the system in a way that makes the most sense for your company and for your end users. So that's a quick overview of the MicroStrategy platform. For more information, check out some of our other videos or click the Start Now button.